एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग ब्रिज आई होप यू गज आर डूइंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग वीडियो फॉर ऑल दी एस्पायरिंग डेटा इंजीनियर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल भी टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉप टेन इंडियन स्टार्टअप विच आर इन दी फिनटेक स्पेस एंड डेफिनेटली हायर डेटा इंजीनियर्स ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल सो इवन इन दी फिनटेक डेटा डोमेन देर विल भी मल्टीपल कैटेगरी कंपनीज वर्किंग फॉर दी बैंकिंग पार्ट एंड लेट से दी डिजिटल पेमेंट्स एंड दी इंश्योरेंस और क्रिप्टो करेंसी ट्रेडिंग सो ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज कम्स अंडर दिस अम्ब्रेला ऑफ फिनटेक एंड वाई आई स्पेसिफिकली चूज इन दिस फिनटेक डेटा डोमेन टू स्टार्ट विद बिकॉज this is the data domain where you will be seeing a very very huge volume of the data interesting use cases to work upon as a data engineer and lots of growth opportunities and lots of things to learn in this data domain and we all know at least in india how fast this fintech data domain is growing multiple companies are coming with new new ideas that's why i thought to create this video where i can talk about those top 10 startups and what kind of job role you will be getting there for the data engineer profile what are the typical technical skills they expect from the entry level freshers for the data engineer role and also so the ctc part so everything i will explain here from end to end you can help me to spread this meaningful information to maximum number of aspiring data engineers by liking this video in really really big numbers let's aim for 1500 like or so and let me know in the comment section which data domain related companies you want me to explain next time i will create a similar type of video explaining the job profile skills ctc and if you are watching any of my video for the very first time and you are also a data enthusiast then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and guys we all know that it's the time for appraisals at most offices and that means high expectation in terms of salary or in terms of the promotions but shouldn't appraisals mean more than just salary hikes a good job is so much more than just money right after working hard for a whole year putting your best of the best efforts people expect to be valued appreciated promoted and get some liberty to make decisions but when we don't get all this then there is a voice in our head which motivated us to move on to something better isn't it and that voice is let's just look for a new job or career hike karke to dekho these days startups have a high demand for experienced people but then you would say where to find such kind of startups and finding a new job is also pretty difficult but on hirect app you can get both of these things it is india's first direct hiring app with hirect you can smoothly search for jobs chat directly with the startup founders and ceos and get hired quickly also no consultants or any kind of middleman are involved here so till this moment over 1 lakh 20000 plus startups are already hiring on hirect so to find a job you don't have to do anything just click on the link which is in the given in the description box and install the hirect app then create your profile by answering few questions and algorithm of the app will match you automatically with the relevant job profiles and also don't worry about the data privacy because hirect never shares your personal details with any of the recruiters without your permission so click on the link which is given in the description box and switch to the job that you always wanted on hirect all right so here you can see the top 10 fintech startups for the data engineer and let me explain each of them one by one so make sure you watch this video till the very end because it is full of information second part while watching this video and even after watching this video you can share your thought in the comment section like which company do you think is best in terms of everything ctc the work life balance and the kind of work they are giving to their engineers let me know in the comment section based on your experiences so the first company which is the razor pay they are actually in the payment gateway site right uh, so razor pay here you will be getting the job role as a data engineer right when you will be applying for the role and the required skill set understanding of distributed file system like hdfs s3 and the computation engines uh, for the data processing spark fling then we have hive no sql type of databases hbase and for the streaming related thing uh, kafka and this is a typo it is the aws kinesis right so these kind of things they are looking on the big data ecosystem side now the sql part which is very very much important no sql databases understanding like elastic search cassandra mongo db workflow managers right like scheduling your jobs pipelines they are looking for asga ban luigi airflow and for the cloud platforms mostly they are working either on the aws side and few cases they are working on the gcp so they will be looking for that one and streaming is something uh, they are working on these kind of use cases where they are processing data in the real time so spark is streaming or understanding of the apache fling would be a great great addition in your profile or resume and for the language perspective they are using the python java and scala So that was about the required skill set job role now talking about the annual ctc as an entry level feature what you can expect so the total ctc will be 25 lpa 250 lakhs per annum which is definitely a very very good ctc to start your career or even if you are in your early stages of your career this is a mind blowing package honestly and razor pay is definitely giving this much band to the entry level freshers and now let's talk about the another fintech startup in india which is well known and it don't need any kind of introduction for sure 
and here it is Paytm. So Paytm, if you don't know, again, I repeat, I have also worked for the Paytm for one year. I definitely know uh, the data volume I was dealing with in one year of my journey, the kind of use cases I worked on. So in terms of the digital payments, right? If you want to excel your data engineering skill sets and want to work on some cool open source tech and tools, you can definitely try Paytm by considering other factors also. So here the job role you will be getting that is the data engineering, right? You will be working this uh, vertical or domain, you can say data engineering, but on paper, it will be mentioned as the software engineer and required skill set for the language part. They are mostly working on Python, Java, Scala. So personally, my experience when I was working there, I worked on Python and I worked on Scala as well. And for few POCs, I use Java there as well. They are working on the Hadoop. They are using Cloudera and Hive, they are extensively using Spark and mostly within the Spark, PySpark section. And even I worked on a small POC there where we were trying to create a near real-time data pipeline where the source was MySQL and uh, the data we were expected to pull, it was for the Paytm mall and to create that pipeline as a near real time using the Spark streaming and dump it to the uh, downstream system. And for that, we were using Cassandra. So that was the case. But after two years, I personally don't know like what they are actually working on, at least for the uh, Spark streaming related things. But they have mentioned, so that means they are working on few use cases for sure. And similarly, you can explore Apache Flink as well, Storm as well. And if you know any of these kind of real time data processing engines, then that's pretty awesome. SQL query is very, very much important. I do remember my interview there and uh, in one round, definitely they asked multiple SQL queries and the level was definitely really good. And the databases, RDBMS, like transactional databases, you know, and the NoSQL HBase, Cassandra, right? We were using there. And for the cloud platform, they will be looking for the AWS understanding. Now let's talk about the CTC part, how much compensation as an entry level data engineer you can expect from Paytm. Uh, so it is basically INR 15 lakhs per annum to 20 lakhs per annum. So definitely a good one. Now let's talk about the another startup, which is in the FinTech space. And I think you definitely know. And if you know, then might have seen the advertisements related to the insurance. So Echo is in that space, right? The general uh, insurance related thing and that actually falls in the fintech space. So the job role you will be getting there, the data engineer itself and the required skill sets for the language perspective. They are working on the Python, Java, Scala. They want you to have a good understanding of data warehousing like data modeling. For the cloud platform, they are working on the GCP. They are using Google Cloud Platform and the tech frameworks they are looking in the big data space that is apache beam spark hadoop and kafka bigquery that is a part of the gcp itself for the workflow scheduler airflow sql queries you have to be really good transactional databases and no sql databases and they also want you to have some sort of understanding of the dashboarding and for that they are looking for the tableau so that was about the required skill set and job role now let's look at the ctc part so for ctc they are giving the range between the INR 15 lakhs per annum to 25 lakhs per annum. Again, the good one. So now let's look at the good one, the coin switch, which is in the crypto and the trading related things. So coin switch, the job role you will be getting there, uh, the data engineer itself, the required skill set, the language, Python, Java, Scala, data warehousing, data modeling. They want you to have a good understanding of all the best practices or the best thing we are using in the development, be it the versionings like the Git, GitHub, Bitbucket and the CI CD related things, Jenkins, SQL queries, very much important, transactional databases, preferably Postgres and no SQL databases. And they are working on the AWS heavily. And from the data engineering perspective for this role itself, uh, they expect you to have a good understanding of AWS. You have worked on it practically and at least use these services, AWS DMS, data management service, AWS S3, Redshift, AWS Lambda and AWS Glue. So that was about the coin switch. And now let's look at their annual CTC. So the annual CTC they are giving right now is between the range uh, 25 lakhs per annum to 35 lakhs per annum. So again, a very, very good one. Now talking about the up stocks. So they are also in the trading section, right? The trading part. So up stocks there, the job role you will be getting the data engineer itself required skill set. They are looking majorly they are working on Python and Scala side and for the big data related tool tech frameworks, Spark, Spark Streaming, Apache Flink and Hadoop. They want you to have a good understanding of it. And for the workflow manager, scheduling, airflow and next is the SQL queries, transactional databases, no SQL databases. And Upstocks is also working on the AWS side. So from the data engineering candidate, they will be expecting to have a good understanding of these services like the AWS Redshift, DynamoDB, AWS Lambda, AWS Glue, Athena, IAM Role, SQS and SNS. 
So that was about the required skill sets and job road. Now let's look at the annual CTC part. So in upstock, that is ranging from the 15 lakhs per annum to 20 lakhs per annum. Now talking about the next one, which is again in the uh, like crypto Bitcoining, right? So we have the coin DCA. So here the job role you will be having is the data engineer itself. And for the required skill set, they are looking for Apache Spark understanding Kafka and Databricks, right? And for the uh, kind of warehousing services, they want you to have understanding of at least these uh, AWS Redshift or Snowflake or BigQuery or Synapse. For the language part, they are using Python, Scala and Java and they are preferring Python for sure. Version controls and CI Studio tools like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Jenkins and for the scheduling for the workflow management, Apache Airflow, data modeling tools like DBT, Dataform, Informatic and also few things which are again common, the SQL, right? You have to be good at the SQL transactional databases and no SQL databases. Now that was about the required skill set and job role. Let's look at the annual CTC part. So for the coin DCX, for entry level data engineers, the CTC can range from 20 lakhs per annum to 50 lakhs per annum. Now let's look at the another one, which is in the digital payments, QR scanning, the payment part, Bharat Pay and uh, like, hope you can remember the name Bharat Pay by remembering the Ashneer Grover, Shark Tag India and whatever things happened recently for Bharat Pay. So here the job role you will be getting as the data engineer for sure and the required skill set they are looking for the language, the Python and Java and the transactional databases like MySQL, Postgres and for the NoSQL site MongoDB and Cassandra, warehousing services like Redshift or BigQuery and for the like distributed file systems they are looking for AWS S3 or GCP, GCS. Mostly you can understand one thing for sure that they are working on the AWS as well as the GCP side as well and the Apache Spark, Apache Kafka, Apache Airflow in the big data ecosystem and Red Ash, Metabase, Superset, these kind of the dashboarding tools and the annual CTC in Bharat Pay that can range from 20 lakhs per annum to 35 lakhs per annum. So again, good one. Now let's talk about the another startup which is in the fintech space and very popular that is the Zeta. So let's say if you have worked for the companies where they are giving you some meal coupons, so you might have got the Sodexo card, right? Where some amount will be credited on monthly basis and you can spend it. So that's why they are also in the fintech space. So here you can see the job role you will be getting for the Zeta, that is the data engineer, the required skill sets they are looking for is uh, the Python, Java, Scala understanding, big data related things, Spark, Spark Streaming, Flink, Kafka, Hadoop, SQL, RDBMS and NoSQL databases for the cloud platform, any of the one like AWS, GCP, Azure, if you have the good understanding of it, you can definitely get an interview call and you can crack it. Now talking about the annual CTC part at Zeta that can range from the 25 lakhs per annum to 30 lakhs per annum. So that was about the Zeta. Now let's look at the another one also very, very well known for their creative ads, right? So creds, which is in the payments as well, the credit cards. So here the job role, you'll be getting the data engineer required skill set. They are looking for Python, Scala, Shell scripting, Spark, Hadoop. They are also looking for Airflow, Nifi for the workflows and scheduling. SQL data modeling understanding the RDBMS like the transactional databases and the warehousing services like AWS Redshift, Tableau for the dashboarding and AWS as a cloud platform they are using. So these are the required skill sets and job role. Now let's look at the annual CTC. So for CRED this annual CTC can range from 23 lakhs per annum to 42 lakhs per annum. And now we have one last fintech startup for the data engineering roles that is Slice. So I'm not sure how many of you heard the name of Slice and uh, just for the information recently uh, it became the unicorn as well probably one month one and a half month back and they are like operating in the similar direction to the cred. So here the job role you should actually expect it's the data engineer right and for the required skill set it will be Python, Java and Scala and the big data related things they are looking for Hadoop, Spark, Kafka understanding, SQL queries very much important, transactional databases, relational databases and the no SQL databases and they are also working on the AWS side platform as a cloud they are using and AWS related services they are looking for S3, EMR, Glue, RDS and Redshift. Now let's look at their annual CTC part for the entry level data engineers and that can range from 15 lakhs per annum to 20 lakhs per annum. So that is also very great. Thank you guys for watching this video till the very end and in this season of appraisals if you want something more than the salary hike then don't forget to download the Hirect app. Here you can chat directly with over 1 lakh 20 thousand plus startup founders and their CEOs without any consultants. So click on the link which is given in the description box and with Hirect 
करियर हाइक करके तो देखो सो दैट्स वॉट आई हैड फॉर यू गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम प्रिटी श्योर यू वुड हैव इंजॉयड एवरी सिंगल इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आई हैव गिवन इन दिस वीडियो इफ येस एंड यू फाइंड इट इन्फॉर्मेटिव मेक श्योर टू स्प्रेड इट बाई लाइकिंग दिस वीडियो इन रियली रियली बिग नंबर्स and also make sure to put your thoughts in the comment section let me know the next data domain which i can cover in the next video i will prepare the similar kind of list for companies which are working in that particular data domain space and again if you are liking all my content and videos specifically dedicated for the data professionals make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video for data engineers till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too